you keep speaking so much about life is beautiful convince somebody like me who has only 3 months to live that life is beautiful saya There was this lady who had come to meet me. She was 26 and she had the cancer of the bone marrow. And doctors had told her she has only 3 more months to live. And when this happened way back we didn't have such advanced cancer treatments. now almost most of them if we can detect it early enough we save them and give them back a beautiful life but at that stage we had to let go of a lot of people and the doctors had told her that she had only 3 more months to live and she was in a very ferocious voice I think it was coming from a lot of pain within. You keep speaking so much about life is beautiful. Convince somebody like me who has only 3 months to live that life is beautiful. And she her eyes were red and there were tears in her eyes. I don't know what come over me. I immediately told her, "How lucky you are. You know you have only 3 more months to live." you can plan your life look at my situation so unfortunate i'm thinking i live up to 96 and i can die one day later i don't know when i'm dying i can die one day later and i'm thinking i live up to 96 and aram say i have long term plans in your case you have such a big advantage you already know you have only 3 months everything that you wanted to do in life everything you have not had done in life everything you were inhibited about life go and live it for the next 3 months matter it's easy for you to say listen and i told her the tragedy of life is not death the tragedy of life is what dies within you when you're still alive the tragedy of life is not death we all will die sooner or later is the question the true tragedy is not this the number of times you could have smiled today you killed it today the number of times you could have been happy today you killed it today the number of people you could have made feel loved you killed it today the number of people you could have appreciated today we killed it today tragedy of life is not the final death tragedy of life is what all of us are killing on a daily basis within us not allowing it to express itself there's so much music so much dance so much life so much to express so much to experience so much to read so much to dance to so much to see so much to taste and we are allowing all this to die on a daily basis when we do management programs when we teach the entrepreneurs we talk about a concept watch me i have about 100000 dollars here or you can keep it as say 7 crores can you see 7 crores here all the money you want to see green notes or you want to see pink notes whatever can you see all the notes here okay now on this side i have another 100000 dollars i have another 7 crores can you also see this can you visualize okay now this 7 crores somehow has caught fire and it's burning this 100000 dollars are burning right now can you see it burn don't cry don't cry it's okay just watch can you see it burn okay which one of you sitting here right now when you see this 7 crores burning 100000 dollars burning which one of you sitting here will go and take this money from here and try to put off the fire put one more 1000 rupee 2000 rupee bundle on this to put off the fire 
take one more hundred dollar bundle and put it on this to put off. Which one of you will do that? None of you will throw good money on bad money. None of you will throw good money on bad money. In fact, you will feel this is gone. At least let me save this. In accounting language, it's called sunken cost. They say, you lost the 7 crores. You can't do anything about it. At least save those 7 crores. You have lost this $100,000. You can't do anything. At least save that. What I'm trying to say is, why are we throwing every day of life on death, which we cannot control? Why are we living our today, thinking about death, when we should be living our today, thinking about life? Invest life on life, not on death. In fact, I told her, the tragedy of life is not that ultimate death, but what dies within you when you are still alive? I also told her, death is God's domain. Let him manage that. Life is man's domain. Let's manage this. Birth was not my choice. Death will not be my choice. But how I live my life between these two terminals is my choice. And let me do complete justice to this choice. Let me do justice to today. I told her, do something. Go to cancer hospital and try to make a few people smile. Go and assist the nurses there if you have to do that. You are a postgraduate. Go and teach a few children. Do whatever you would. When God wants to call you back, let him call him back. But live it to the end. Of course, the story gets beautiful from here. No internet and I never had mobile phone those days. We used to have only landline. Every week, one postcard used to come. Those of you outside India may not understand this, but there is one of those postal instruments in India called postcard. Every week, one postcard used to come. Anna na innum uirodudan irikiren. With her name signed. I am still alive and her name signed. After about six months, this woman who should have died in three months time, after six months, I receive a postcard saying that I have decided to fight a war with the very thing that is killing me. She wrote it in Tamil, I am saying it in English. Because every letter of hers, I am still alive. Brother, I am still alive with her name signed. That's all it used to be, every week. Six months later, she wrote a postcard saying that I have decided to fight a war against the very thing that's killing me. I have started doing research on cancer. She went on to live for another seven years. She got a PhD before she died. She finally died. But seven years is a lot of time. And that's not important. For me, what is important, not even that she died as a PhD. For me, what was important is, for seven years, she lived every day by this one thing. I'm not thinking about death. But I will not let anything die within me when I'm alive. And ever since, I no more teach, live every day as if this is the last day of your life. That leave, let's leave it to God. We don't know when is the last day. But I teach, live every day recognizing today is the first day to the rest of your future. Today is the first day to the rest of your future. Your future begins now. Draw a line to your entire past. What a beautiful life. Irrespective of how my entire past has been that I was a caterpillar in my past, starting today I can live as a butterfly. So my suggestion to you is not live as if today is the last day of your life. Live recognizing today is the first day to the rest of your life. My future begins today. Oh, 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 oh,